Hello guys, today we will cover also another Mandrake derivatives. Before I talked about PC Linux OS, it is also a Mandrake derivative which came also from Red Hat. And the other one that we will talk about today is Alt Linux. As you can see, Alt Linux came before and before PC Linux OS in the timeline and it kept its own identity. There is many similarities between PC Linux OS and Alt Linux. The main difference is that PC Linux OS is US Texas based and Alt Linux is Russian. So this is the irony. They are very similar, but they are very different. If we look at the Alt website, you will get a very simple wiki page with a yellow button, download Alt. So the first thing you do is you press download Alt. If I press it, you'll have Alt workstation Alt K workstation, the server, virtualization server, Alt education, simply Linux and other. The one that interests us in these is simply Linux. And it says operating system for everyone, easy to use and lightweight, functional and secure. If I press it, you will have two primary downloads. So here we have the live one and the simply Linux install one. This one is around five gigabytes. It's very big. That's why I did not, I will not install this one in this session. So what we are left with, if I go back, there is here, instead of this download alt, we have here a regular ISO image builds. I press this one, you will be here, regular. And we have many choices, Cinnamon, KDE, Mate, XFCE, and we have the auxiliary, Enlightenment, GNOME 3, ISWM, LXDE, LXQT. The lightest one of all of them is ISWM. And if I click it, it is around 1.1 gigabytes. So this is the one that I will use. I will install it on a USB and I will add open box and we will see how it goes. So let us start. This is Alt Linux with ISWM. I installed it on a USB using MBR. It had, I had difficulty in installing it in UEFI, so I installed it in MBR. The one that interests us from this ISWM uh, now is the configuration and the packaging, Synaptic Package Manager. This is where all the action will, will be. And other things, I use the terminal to make an installation of the open box and everything the screen is not good for iswm that's why i already installed a customized open box and we will continue from there let's go to open box so this is my customized alt linux open box uh, edition running on the usb as i told you let us start first with the terminal first you have to use su and you put the password or you can use the sudo. If you want to use sudo, you have to change the vsudo file and add your uh, username so that you can use sudo in installation and all of this stuff. But for the general one that you will see when you use the terminal, you will use su and this password. So first of all, if you want to install, let's say anything, you use apt, although it is RPM, but you can use apt. For example, let's say I want to uh, install uh, htop. So what I do is install htop. Very simple. It will read the package and it tells me htop is already the newest version. So that's how we install htop. Let's say I want to remove htop and apt get remove. I say yes. This is how I remove htop. If I want to check the latest version, I already updated it, so we we will have we uh, we have 5.15.15. This is the latest version according to Alt Linux. As of this date, the latest version is 5.16.10, but this one is relatively a, a new version for a relatively traditional desktop distribution. And of course, if you want to update you press uh, apt get update 
the same as you do with Debian, the same thing. And as I told you, it is already updated. And the same way with the upgrades. Let us go out of this uh, terminal and we go to the most important one, which is the synaptics. I already included one in the open box, the synaptic package manager. So I press it. If you are using ISWM, I told you how you can get it. You go to the to the start menu, go to packages, to the configuration packages, and you'll get this synaptic manager. Okay, so it is uh, already loaded now. So what you have to do first when you enter this one, in case you are using ISWM and you got into this one, you will go to mark all upgrades and you put mark and then later on you will put apply. So we have some things to be upgraded. Before we said it updated the, these things, it did not upgrade them. So if you want to update, there is 13 packages. 64k and 67.2 to be uploaded downloaded so that's how we can we can upgrade all or update all our files i will not update it also if you notice this one is uh, synaptic 0 0.58 it is not the latest version they are using the old version of synaptic next thing we will do is if you notice here you have all packages and if you notice they have around 45,237 packages listed which is very close to the Debian uh, repos so they are doing a good job in having a lot of packages so if I want to inst install htop I put htop I right click mark for installation click apply apply apt system reports done so I say okay I close let me check here and htop is installed as you can see we are using 504 504 megabytes which is very good because we are using also the screen recorder you can notice here the vocal screen it is using all the ram it should be using around 200 megabytes of ram which is very light and it is operating also we have to remember it is operating on a usb which is very uh, responsive for now Okay, let's get out. Although we have 45,237, there are some uh, packages that are not available here. Let's say I want to install Microsoft Edge. So I search for Edge. So Microsoft Edge is not available. Or let's say I want to install Steam. Also Steam is not available. So for some special programs, you can use another method, which is the EEPM. So to talk about EEPM, we go to, let me close this one, go here and go to this uh, file. So if you notice, I listed something inside this EEPM. EEPM has some batch scripts which allow us to install some of the programs that are not listed in the synaptic and these are not much but they can help you to install these programs like brave like chrome like microsoft edge discord only office wine skype vivaldi zoom that's how i installed zoom if you notice i've installed zoom so that's how i installed zoom if i want to look what is how how does it do it let us go to zoom let's say and if you notice here at the end it has it says epm install it goes to the website and install it it goes to the website and install it some of them they install them by if i go for steam let's say for steam it installs the deb file so this is also we have to know that this is an rpm based and it installs dot deb files so to cut things short, if I want to, let's say I want to install Steam, all I have to do is I press EEPM, play Steam. If I want to install Discord, I will put instead of Steam, I'll put Discord. The same with Chrome, with Chromium, with Wine, with Microsoft Teams, etc. Let's say I want, uh, I put Steams, let's say I press enter and it will tell me that steams.sh does not exist because it is steam.sh so that's how we do it and 
before we finish from the terminal let me check how much we have installed so far on this usb we have installed 12.4 gigabyte out of this 32 gigabyte usb next thing we have to do is we want to install virtual box virtual box also we have a special thing to do for it so if i want to install it i go for to search for alt linux virtual box I search for it I go directly to the website this is the website and if you notice that all the information is in uh, Russian so what I have to do is I have to go to Google Translate to go to I have to go to Google Translate pick this one paste it get the translation launch it and you have it all in English and you follow directly what is written on this uh, wiki so you have first to have to put apt get update so you go to root su password you add get update update the dash kernel dash y yes and then you install virtual box and afterwards you update the kernel and then you install the kernel modules and after that you put g password dash a put your user my user is alt and vbox users and then you reboot and you will get also the virtual box let us look at the installed software let's say i want to check uh, inkscape so inkscape is 1.1 it is not the latest version the latest version is 1.1.1.2 i think so they have uh, a an updated one but it's not the updated the latest updated one as we saw in pc linux os pc linux os always has an updated kernel updated the uh, software all of this uh, as for firefox it is the latest esr extended support release also if you want uh, i've already also i installed the flameshot also flameshot is not the latest version but it will do with the job uh, Voco screen, uh, well, I'm already recording on it also. VLC, Firefox, I talked about. Tor browser, you have to install it from the website. Zoom, I said you have to install it through EEPM Play Zoom. That's it for uh, Alt Linux. It is a very solid and very stable uh, version. It is a rolling release, so you don't have to worry, especially if you are on a USB. If you leave it for, like, say, six months or one year and you come back, you update it, you'll have all the updated software. I, I've tried it a lot of times now on the USB, no problems, no crashing, all the, it is very responsive. I did video editing on it, also on the USB. Everything works fine, I recommend it. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll be back for with another videos in the future. Thank you.